This sweet here was planted well on time and it's looking extremely good. If you can tell, um, you can tell actually from the height, it's actually above my waist. And also, if you look at the head, um, the head actually has got better, it has got more seeds, uh, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's got 15 um, heads, uh, seeds on a, on a head, which is quite, um, quite a lengthy head, meaning that the potential yield of this crop it can be 9, 10 tons per hectare. But the 9, 10 tons per hectare is just a potential yield. But what we only need to do now to safeguard that yield, we need to make sure that we continue with our irrigation and um, we have to make sure that we put our water, uh, the normal irrigation cycle, right up until this part here turns brown. Once it turns brown, this part, it means the whole head turns brown as well, meaning that now we can withdraw the water because the water is no longer moving towards the, the seeds. And then the seeds themselves, uh, at this stage, they are at um, um, blister stage. Blister stage is when you take the seed, you press it, there is water which comes out. So that's the blister part of it. But from this stage, it's going to move onto uh, milk door stage and from this stage that's when the birds come in and eat they help themselves when these birds eat and if you kill one of them and open up and see how much they've eaten they are consuming 10 grams per day uh, so if you say 10 grams times the number of birds by times the number of the days they've been feasting on this is a huge loss so the next stage from here is we have to make sure that we control the birds there are so many ways of controlling the birds bird scaring with people if your hectare is 20 30 hectares even 40 hectares you can use people but if you are now getting more than 10 birds at a time there is need to report the issue to Agritex, uh, which is others, um, and then you can also complain to national parks and then they can come in and help you to control the beds by bumping them at the roost place where they sleep at night. And with this, um, you find the government has put in place some uh, uh, power, um, highly pressurized, or power pressurized NEPSEC sprayers. They've got uh, uh, some drones which are on standby. There are some um, vehicles with canisters, high pressured canisters, again to control the beds. And when worse come to the west, there are some aeroplanes, at least two of them, which are on standby again to control the beds. And as well as making sure that if you have a combine harvester, make sure it's serviced, it's repaired, ready to come and harvest as soon as the wheat is ready. If you don't have a combine harvester, but this is the right time now to go and look for one from the people who have it so that as soon as your moisture content is right, you come in with your combine harvester and make sure the wheat is removed before the offset of the uh, oncoming rains, which is uh, probably mid-October to end of October, so that at least you remove your, your, your wheat before it's rain uh, damaged. That way you have secured or logged your money into your wheat.